Hello everyone, welcome to the series of VMware vSphere version 8. In this session, we are going to perform a lab on hot extent of hard disk drive. Before we proceed, as a general practice, we will recall what all things we have done in our previous session because this session is a continuation of the previous session. In our previous session, we have discussed about the hot head of RAM and CPU. Whatever we have discussed, we have done a lab on that in VMware hands-on lab as well as each and everything discussed theoretically was practically proved, right? So we have seen that hot head and hot plugs are the feature not turned on by default. So when we are creating a photon machine at that time, Linux photon machine, not, yes, Linux photon machine we were creating and at that time what we did is we have enabled this hot head and hot plug feature at the time of launch of that machine. We have also seen that if this feature is not enabled during the time of launch, then you need to power off to enable this feature. And Windows 10 machine was the example which we have taken. We have considered that VMware when creating a Windows 10 machine have not enabled this feature. So we turn off the machine, we enable the features and thereafter we were able to perform the hot add and hot plug of the CPU and memory. And we have also said that VMware tool must be installed. This is one of the requirement to perform the hot add and hot plug. Hot plug is generally a term used for RAM. Hot add is generally a term used for CPU extension. And Finally, before the conclusion, we have seen that support of these hot features are highly dependent on your guest operating system. When we have performed the hot add and hot plug on Photon Linux, the changes were reflected at the same time. But when we have performed the hot plug and hot add we on the Windows 10 machine, we have seen that hot plug was reflected, but the hot add that is the CPU was not extended and we need to restart. And using this example, we have practically justified that hot features are highly dependent on guest operating system and not on vSphere. And more um, moving further, we have seen that which operating systems are supporting the hot features, hot plug feature, hot add features, and which are not supporting going to the hardware compatibility list from VMware. Now coming to our topic, we are going to perform a lab on hot extent of hard disk drive. So basically two things we are going to do. Very first thing we will be performing a lab on hot add of hard disk drive and then we will perform a lab on hot extent of hard disk drive. Let's go to our VMware hands-on lab. So guys this is our lab the Photon Linux machine we have created this machine we have installed this VM in our previous session. Now we are going to perform the hot add and hot extend of hard disk drive on Windows 10 machine. Okay. So now very first thing what we will do now see over here Windows 10 machine under summary if you will see the VM hardware specification is over here. The CPU is two CPU. If you remember in our previous session lab we have extended this from one to two memory from two to three we have extended. Hard disk, you can see it's 30 GB thin provision hard disk is already there. Now, what we are going to do over here is, and one more thing I want to show you, I will just launch the Windows 10 machine for you over here. And I will be going to this PC over here. And I need to show you basically that you have only one hard disk that is C drive with 30 GB, the one which we have added over here just thin provision okay now i will just right click on windows 10 i will click on edit setting you have 130 gb hard disk i will say add new device hard disk and over here i will be adding 2 gb hard disk okay i have added 2 gb hard disk click okay once you do this see one more hard disk just click on see all disk it will say that the 30 GB hard disk is the one which VMware has added during the provisioning of this VM. And now recently we have added 2 GB hard disk. 30 GB hard disk is thin provision and 2 GB hard disk is thick provision. Let me show you whatever we have discussed 
about the thin provision and thick provision that when you add a thin provision hard disk it will not occupy full space it will occupy only that much is required and will increase dynamically whereas thick disk will occupy all the space although the space is not full so we will justify this okay and then we will come again to our topic let me close this i will take you to storage going to storage over here as kazi storage windows 10 click on windows 10 and just click files over here now see uh, when you have added hard disk that will be a vmdk file right over here just scroll down and you will see that 16 gb vmdk file guys this vmdk file is the one which is 30 gb 30 gb hard disk but see it is thin disk right that is the reason only 16 gb is shown how much is utilized that much is shown although it is 30 gb but 16 gb is utilized 16 gb is shown not full 30 gb but vmd uh, sorry 2 gb hard disk that was a thick provisioning hard disk right 2 gb you have added full 2 gb it is showing over here why because it's thick disk in thin disk how much occupied 16 GB 16 GB is showing in thick disk 2 GB is added but 0 uh, is occupied there is nothing in that hard disk right but then also it has taken full 2 GB so I believe that you understood what is thin disk and uh, thick disk and how it works in storage lecture we are going to do everything practically we will be adding thin disk we will learn how to add thick disk all things will be practically done but this is not a storage lecture so we will not look much more just to show you practically how thin disk and thick disk work i have taken you there now again coming to our topic what we did we have added 2 gb hard disk over here right but when you go to windows 10 just refresh over here that 2 gb hard disk which you have added is not seen over here right so you know why why this 2 gb hard disk although you have added over there it is not seen over here because it will be in the raw format let me take you to disk management uh, see these are the basic things right uh, for windows and i believe uh, all those who are viewing this session are much more aware of this disk management and all just i will go to disk management and i will hit enter over here and you will see that it is in the raw format and it see it is saying your initialization is required okay for now now you need to format this in ntfs format you need to format it in ntfs format then it will be visible in your drive okay so you will see over here there is one 2gb hard disk see let me maximize this okay you will see that there is 2gb hard disk but it is unallocated what you will do you will simply right click on this unallocated hard disk you will say new simple volume click next 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 finish see this all things what i am doing next is this is something related to microsoft so i am not uh, we are not learning over here about microsoft what we are learning over here is the vmware vsphere this is a part so that's why i'm covering i will close this i will again open this and you will see over here that, that 2 gb hard disk which you have formatted in ntfs is now visible earlier it was in raw format it was not visible but you went to disk management you have formatted the hard disk in ntfs format and it is visible to you now what we have done basically we have learned about the hot add of hard disk drive okay means we have added a hard disk without powering of the machine in the live production you have added the machine okay now let's say for example you have this hard disk in future the requirement come that this hard disk size needs to be increased will you power of the machine and do it no in live production downtime is very much difficult to get you there is a feature hot extent of hard disk drive okay. what i will do i need to prove one more thing that when you perform a hot extent there is no data loss for that i will do one thing just i will open this drive over here in the drive i will say that create a new folder and i will create a folder with the name lab test okay once i am done with this i will close this i will just close this and i will come out from here for now and i will be doing a hot extend i will go to my v center in windows 10 i will right click i will click on edit setting and this 
टू जी बी हार्ड डिस्क आई विल चेंज इट टू थ्री जी बी हार्ड डिस्क टिक ओके अगेन लॉन्च द मशीन एंड वेन यू विल ट्राई टू सी द हार्ड डिस्क साइज ओवर हियर इट इज टू जी बी इट इज नॉट थ्री जी बी राइट सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू इवन फॉर एक्सटेंडिंग द हार्ड डिस्क यू विल गो टू डिस्क मैनेजमेंट Just click on Start button. Type diskmgmt.msc. Hit Enter. And over here, you are going to extend the volume. Now see. Over here, you have two GB hard disk, which is NTFS format, but one GB is unallocated, right? So over here, you are going to right click. And oh, in our previous. topic where we were doing a hot add we said new simple volume but over here we already have a hard disk we need to extend the size so we will say extend volume okay click next next finish close this and refresh now over here you will see the uh, the hard disk 2gb is changed to 3gb and not only that just open that and if you remember we have created a folder the name lab test that is still there in this particular hard disk and we have successfully extended the hard disk and i can say it was a hot extend of hard disk drive why because there was no downtime we haven't uh, power of the machine nothing everything was done live so it proves that whether you do a hot add or hot extend hard disk drive your data is not lost so before we conclude this session let me recall quickly what we have done guys we have first in the hot head of the hard disk drive without any downtime we have done the hot head and in windows 10 we have seen that hard disk was not visible because it was in raw format we have formatted in ntfs format we have seen how to format that and we for then for testing purpose we have created one folder then we performed the hot extend on that drive again we have extended the volume uh, over there and we have practically justified that there is no data loss whether you do a hot head of hard disk or whether you perform a hot extend of hard disk drive so guys this is all about the hot extend or hot head of the hard disk drive if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe it now and do share with your friends thanks for watching and see you in the next session